hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be discussing about ischemic heart disease and because it's going to be a very long topic as you all know that ischemic heart disease involves stable angina acute coronary syndrome so it's going to be a very lengthy topic so i have divided my videos into three parts so the first one will be an overview and in the second one i'll discuss about a stable angina and the third video will include acute coronary syndrome that is unstable angina myocardial infarction etc so let's get started so ischemic heart disease is also known as coronary artery disease and coronary heart disease so what happens in this disease is that the oxygen requirement of the heart is not fulfilled by the coronary arteries because they are narrowed and they are supplying insufficient blood to the heart resulting in ischemia so the clinical features include it can be asymptomatic that the patient may not experience any kind of symptoms and there are just simple narrowing of the coronary arteries second is a stable angina so there will be narrowing and the patient may feel symptoms on exertion or if the patient is doing any exercise or stress sort of things so that will be stable angina and acute coronary syndrome that which includes unstable angina myocardial infarction and the myocardial infarction can further categorized into st elevation mi and non st elevation mi and the patient may also undergo sudden cardiac death so the risk factors of coronary artery disease can be categorized into modifiable risk factors and non modifiable risk factors in modifiable risk factor hypertension is the most common risk factor and the second is diabetes mellitus which is also a modifiable risk factor and the most dangerous worst risk factor cigarette smoking tobacco use and hyperlipidemia lack of physical activity lack of estrogen in women obesity these all are modifiable risk factors for coronary artery disease however non modifiable risk factors include age of the patient for example in men more than 45 years and in women more than 55 years and uh, the family history of coronary heart disease in first degree relatives like male relative less than 55 years and female relative of less than 65 year old if they have coronary artery disease then it's a non modifiable risk factor and increasing age i have told you this and uh, male gender male are more prone to coronary artery disease than women and uh, race is another non modifiable risk factor so it's more common in asian population and non white people so all the risk factors that i have discussed they can lead to injury to the endothelial cell lining of the artery and injury will lead to inflammation and immune reactions then it will lead to accumulation of lipids in the intima of the arterial wall then there will be macrophages infiltration because there are lipid so macrophages will come there to ingest the lipid and they will die there proliferation of a smooth muscle cells within the vessels then there will be formation of a fibrous capsule over the dead fatty core which will known as atheroma and the protrusion of atheroma into the lumen or vessel can occur then there will be narrowing and obstruction of the vessel but if the capsule is thin the lipid core may rupture as it is growing faster and faster so it may rupture then then it will lead to hemorrhage into the plug allowing thrombus to develop this thrombus and obstruct the blood flow leading to the sudden cardiac death and myocardial infarction it may also lead to another symptoms of angina and coronary artery disease so the main symptom of angina or coronary artery disease is chest pain and it is central and diffuse what other characteristic of chest pain are it is gradual in onset and takes several minutes to develop it is less than 30 minutes in angina and more than 30 minutes in myocardial infarction it is dull constricting crushing and choking type of pain and it may radiate to neck jaw and left arm it occurs during exertion but also occurs during emotion or in cold wind or any kind of stress it is relieved by rest and nitrates in case of angina but not so in myocardial infarction 
it is usually associated with breathlessness sweating nausea vomiting especially in case of mi so these are atypical symptoms because when the patient presents with chest pain so you may confuse it with an epigastric pain because the patient is having nausea and vomiting so you might think of acute gastroenteritis and may misdiagnose the case so you have to remember that these symptoms may also occur in myocardial infarction and there will be no changes with the respiration or position of the body unlike in pericarditis for example in pericarditis the pain is relieved on leaning forward and it aggravates when the patient lies flat so in this slide i have added some differential diagnosis of chest pain example teeth syndrome which is costochondritis in teeth syndrome there will be chest wall tenderness on palpation aortic dissection is a lethal differential diagnosis of chest pain in it will present with tearing chest pain radiating to back and it will have unequal blood pressure between the arms pericarditis chest pain that changes with position of the body chest pain aggravates with lying flat and improves when sitting up or lean forward gastroesophageal reflux disease the chest pain will be burning in nature there will be bad taste in the mouth there can be cough and hoarseness due to reflux pneumonia but it will be accompanied with cough with sputum hemoptysis fever and consolidation on chest x-ray pulmonary embolism another deadly cause of chest pain it will be sudden onset shortness of breath tachycardia tachypnea and hypoxia pneumothorax has sharp pleuritic chest pain which is aggravated with inspiration and there will be tracheal deviation on examination as well as on chest x-ray especially if it's a tension pneumothorax peptic ulcer disease it will present with apic discomfort duodenal ulcer is relieved with food intake however gastric ulcer is aggravated with food intake and uh, the pain of coronary artery disease has no relation with it don't forget to watch my next video on stable in china on my youtube channel and i hope you learned something from it if you do please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching